This test will demonstrate how solids can be separated from wastewater in a solids separator system. Untreated wastewater is guided through a separator upstream of the hydraulic system of a pump set. Any solids contained in the fluid will remain in the separator. The pre-treated fluid will move on to the collecting tank. Pre-treated water is then pumped through the separator to transport the collected solids to the discharge line. In our model, the separator chamber is equipped with an inlet line with an inlet valve. Please note that this electrically actuated ball valve is only required in this test setup. A non-return flap upstream of the upper discharge outlet, a screen plate and a discharge line with non-return valve for discharging the solids. Tanks for the fluid, the solids and the pump are arranged above and below the separator area. The tank for the mixture of water and solids is installed in the upper part of the model. In normal applications, this would be the inlet sewage line. Usually, the solids are discharged in continuous cycles via the discharge line. For the purpose of this test, however, the solids are returned to the upper tank. After the solids have been removed, the water is collected in the lower tank. This tank also contains the pump, which pumps the fluid through the separator and thus transports the solids to the discharge line. We will start the test by filling the separator. A mixture of water and solids is fed into the separator from above. The solids are held back by the screen. The pretreated water flows on down through the screen, through the pump and into the collecting tank. If the water level in the solid separator rises further, solids are also separated by the closed flap located higher up in the main pipe. When the pump is switched on, the water pours into the pipeline. As a result of the pressure buildup, the non-return valve in the inlet line of the separator is closed. The separator is designed to produce two types of flow, one for pretreating the water and one for discharging the solids. First, the fluid is pretreated by passing through the screen into the solid separator. Then the fluid opens the non-return valve and transports the solids to the discharge line where they are discharged. The separation area is now empty and clean. It is ready to be filled again. The advantages of solid separation are it prevents the pumps from becoming clogged. It enables the use of channel impellers with small spherical free passages which leads to higher efficiencies. Higher pressure and longer transport sections can be covered by standard pumps. It reduces wear on the pump sets. It is more hygienic and reduces maintenance costs.